Back in 2022 was the first time I discovered coding. My video editing business was shrinking and I was trying to find a plan B. There was this guy Gregory on YouTube who spoke coding like if it was his mother tongue. JavaScript, Solidity, Crypto, Arbitrage, Infinite Money Glitch and I was hooked. Crypto was skyrocketing and everything seemed possible. So I bought a course and dove into it headfirst. For months I spent days and nights coding. There was something magical about it, how it was all just logic and I fell in love. Once at 4am I solved a problem that I was trying to crack for weeks. I almost shouted from excitement but kept quiet not to wake my sleeping girlfriend. After 3 months I finally finished my bot. But big surprise, it didn't work. There wasn't a problem with my spaghetti code, but I wasn't the only one who had this idea. Undeterred and feeling empowered, I started my next project, designing a website from scratch to revive my editing agency. Here I encountered the frontend code for the first time and it just didn't make sense to me. Frontend code just seemed to need too many lines to complete tasks which I could handle quickly in Photoshop. I finished my website in about 9 days, but I felt discouraged and I gave up. I really hate giving up. I know for a fact if you dedicate your time to something, you can accomplish great things. So when company reached out to me saying, Henry, we got a solution, I decided to give it a second chance. So the promise of Wix Studio is quite interesting. It's a brand new web creation platform made for agencies, freelancers and web developers. It combines the convenience of user-friendly web builder with the flexibility of coding websites from scratch. There is a complete visual editor that you can use to build the UI that's connected with a VS Code style editor for your custom code. How connected you ask? Well, I don't know, that's why I'm gonna be spending next 7 days trying to master the platform to see if it will ignite my passion for coding and web design again. But if you are too busy and you want to skip directly to tutorial, oh, busy, 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 busy. Here are the timestamps. Alright, so it's a day one with Wix Studio. I found they have pretty good tutorials on the website, so I'm gonna go through them first and then I'm gonna see what I can make. <laughs> So a couple of hours passed and I've been able to go through all the tutorials and I made uh, my first website. The rocket is going through the space and landing in Mars. Day 2 with Wix Studio, so today I have one more tutorial left to finish and after it I found out that they have a really cool thing on their website which is uh, Wix Sandboxes, which is pretty much a Wix website which is like half finished and you have uh, guidelines and steps what to do and how to transform it into a final design. So let's get into it. So I've been procrastinating quite a lot and there are six sandboxes each like 10 minutes long. So I'm gonna set up alarm on my iPhone for 60 minutes and I'm gonna try to complete it all within one hour. Let's go. So it's day 3 with Wix Studio and today I'm gonna try to make a website without any help not following the tutorial. And it's done! Day 4 with the Wix Studio, I was supposed to do the documentation but luckily I found out that there is a Wix Essential course on the website which should give me a good overview of all the functions without really a need of reading the documentation. <laughs> So it's day 5 with Wix Studio and I'm still trying to finish that course. I'm gonna try to finish it today and then move to building website. <laughs> Day 6 and let's finally finish that course. One eternity later. So I just finished the week's course and after doing the whole thing and going through all the exercises I changed my opinion about the way you should learn Wix Studio. I think you definitely should start with the course because it gave me pretty good global overview of all the features and then if you want to still practice you can do the sandboxes. Day 7 
we made it. It's the last day. And today I'm diving into coding. There is a YouTube channel called Wix for Developers and they have a lot of tutorials. And it's going to be much more entertaining than reading through a lot of docs. <laughs> Alright guys, 7 days passed and I learned quite a lot. I was able to get through most of the Wix resources and I wanted to show you the best features in a quick project. So we are going to be building this quick app. All this app does is when you click the button, it's going to call the external API that will give us a dog picture. And so we click the button and boom, we got a dog picture, another dog, another dog, another dog, as many dogs as you want. So how it works is using this external dog API. And when you call this API, the API returns you the message in which there is a URL to a dog image. And also in the URL, you always have the breed. So we are going to try to parse this string and we are going to display the name of the breed underneath the dog. So let's get into it. Okay, so we are in Wix Studio and we are going to start by editing the section. We are going to go here on the right to a properties panel and we are going to add the background. They have AI image generator and you can type backyard image and we can choose a style which is going to be the photo. Yeah, looks pretty all right. Let's take the container. Let's change size. Now let's add the title. Random dog generator. How to make the font smaller. Let's add the photo. Now this photo is going to be a placeholder and we are going to use the ID of the photo to target it and change the source of it to display our dog. Then let's add another title and we'll say this is. I'm going to format it a little bit like this and let's add the paragraph and the paragraph is going to say dog breed. Now we have so many options how we can customize the elements. For example, we can change the background color. But what if you want to do something else that you cannot do here? This is where the custom code integration comes into place. So you want to go to this left panel and click code and click start coding. Add global CSS, which will create a global CSS file. And to target element is extremely easy. You can just click the element. And here on the bottom, you can either target global class, which is box, or you can create your own class. So let's say it will be dog container. And now we can add our custom CSS. So let's add a dog container. And let's say we want to make it extremely fun and we want to make each border in different color. So I'm going to add my custom CSS and we need to increase the border width. And wow, each of our border is different color. Now we only miss a button. So let's add the button. Let's change the color to purple. Let's add some corner radius. Let's maybe increase the button size. Now our UI is done and we want to move to a coding part in which we are going to replace the image and replace the text with what we get from the API. But for that, we first need to check the IDs of the image and the paragraph. So, so if we click on the image, we can see here that the image ID is image x1. And the ID of the paragraph is text three. Now we can go click code in Wix ID and we can input all our code there. So now we need to write our code, but I'm kind of lazy. And Wix has this feature called Wix AI Assistant. And what it does is pretty much a chat assistant that can write the code, review your code, and we can just ask it to call our API. So I'm going to go and take the API link. Okay, so we are going to say create a code that after clicking button one, calls the API, I'm going to paste the API, we'll use the response to replace the source in image x1 and take the breed of the dog from the response string and replace text tree with the breed of the dog. Now when I'm reading it, I wrote it quite chaotically. So let's see if the AI will understand what I meant. All right, so we got our code. Import fetch from Wix fetch on ready function. And now we select the button and click event, close the API. And then data takes the breed, it splits the response and takes the fourth element or fifth element. And then it replaces source with data.message and the texture with the breed. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's take the code. Now we can navigate to, to file manager and we can go to source, pages, and we want to go to homepage and paste the code there. 
Now we save the code and let's come back to website. Now when we click here home, it's the same file. So what we pasted there, we could have pasted also here. So we can go to site and click the button and boom, we got a dog and it's a Borzoi. And another dog, another dog, another dog, another dog. As many dogs as you want. I know this project is quite silly, but I hope it demonstrated features of Wix Studio quite well. And now it's up to you guys to create something reasonable with it. So will I give programming second chance and should you try the Wix Studio? Well, after spending a week with it, I'm really nicely surprised. Wix Studio Editor gives you plenty of options to create most of your UI and then the integration with the custom CSS is really seamless. When it comes to programming, the Wix Studio Code Editor is pretty much same as VS Code. There are still several nuances, mainly connected with Velo, that's their full stack solution that's Wix Studio based on, but it's still JavaScript so it's easy to pick up and if you are in trouble you can always ask the code assistant. So yes, I'm gonna be coding a little bit more, especially now with Wix Studio, and with that I'm gonna be creating one brand new channel that's focused on web development and Wix Studio. I'm gonna put the link below so if you are interested go subscribe. Let me know if you are gonna be testing Wix Studio. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.